Welcome to News Talk, where I'm joined this morning by tech expert Burton Kelso, who has some valuable information for you when it comes to backing up your devices. Right. National Bat Works, excuse me, World Backup Day, March 31st, the slogan, don't be an April Fool. So if you don't want to be an April Fool, <laughs> how do we avoid being an April Fool, Burton? <laughs> well, you got to back up your stuff, obviously, but I think a lot of people take for granted uh, the stuff that they have on their devices, whether it be pictures or documents or uh, videos, you, you name it, you've got to back that information up because contrary to popular belief, if that stuff, if your device fails, there's not always a way to get that back. And know? I know my whole life is on my phone. So exactly. many dog pictures. Right, I can't exactly. Lose those. No, you can't. So, you know? what do people need to know? Well, one of the first things that people can do is uh, for their desktop, Windows, or Macintosh computers is to uh, use Carbonite. Carbonite is cloud backup uh, software, and what it does is it automatically backs up your information to the cloud. So, whenever you turn on your Windows computer or your Macintosh computer, Carbonite goes to work. Now, Carbonite's uh, $60 a year. But it's unlimited backup, so no matter how many photos or uh, images you have, or not images, but documents you have, mm -hmm. it goes to the cloud. Great. Mm -hmm. what, you know, someone might think, oh, I don't want to spend money to do this. Right. Are there any free options for backing things up? There is. Uh, Google makes a product uh, called Google Backup and Sync, and it breaks up into two products. It's uh, Google Photos, which is unlimited photos and videos that go to the Google Cloud, and then you've got Google Documents, which gives you 15 gigabytes worth of data uh, and it's automatically backed up from any device so it doesn't matter if you have a Windows, Macintosh, uh, smartphone or a tablet Google uh, will automatically back that stuff up to the cloud okay. for free. Okay. What yeah. other what other options? You know, what what else do people need to know so they can avoid avoid being a fool? In right. this area? <laughs> <laughs> well, many people don't realize that your smart devices already have backup programs built into it. It's just a matter of going into settings on both the iPhone and your Android and just turn it on. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. So Apple users it will automatically go to iCloud and you get a limited amount of storage and then of course you have to pay for more storage and the same thing with Google devices you just uh, flip on the backup option and then it just magically goes to the cloud it's limited space but better to have a backup solution in place and then rather than to lose all your stuff sure any other key things people need to be thinking about with yeah this? Uh, for if you're afraid of the cloud because a lot of people are like I don't want that information in the cloud that's a good point Windows and Macintosh computers have uh, backup utilities built into it if you're a Windows 10 user you can use uh, file history to back up your information to an external hard drive. Okay. And the same thing for Macintosh users. You can use uh, Time Machine, which will automatically back up your information to an external hard drive. And the great thing about both of these backup systems is that there's multiple backups. So if one backup fails, then you can always go to another backup. But the idea is, is that you've got to turn them on. They're in there. You just got to use them. Yeah, and then, you know, if you're really worried, like me with my dog photos, right. you're going to have a backup to the backup. Right, Maybe exactly. Maybe another backup to the backup to the backup. Right. <laughs> that, as many, you just never know. That's yeah. right. Yeah. Um, and, and, you know, one thing we were talking about, a, a relevant current event right now, I mean, people have access to your information. You can hack it. They can get in and erase it. We right. talked about the Facebook situation, That's getting correct. access to information. Mm -hmm. It's a reality right now. It, it is a reality. Mm -hmm. So there's no excuse because a lot of people think, well, I've just got to send that information to the cloud. But you can do local backups, too. You know, you just want to make sure that you do them on a regular basis and the best types of backup are automatic backups. So get it set up and don't be an April Fool. you just don't have to think about it. That's right. It's just a matter of picking the one that works best for you. That's right, well, yeah. Well, Burton Kelso, thank you so much for thank joining you, us this Natalie. morning. We'll be right back to check in with Shane and get a final look at your weather. We're also watching.